Hello everyone, and welcome to this tutorial video on the SQL DIY script feature. The SQL DIY script empowers you to create your own scripts directly within an event list in our SQL software. This versatile feature enables you to customize the software to meet your specific needs, from commission rewards and operational adjustments to preventive measures and beyond. To access this feature, you'll need to add the DIY script module in our system. For the testing company, you can activate the module by navigating to File, Customize, and tick the script module without the need of license purchase. Please note that, when going live for an actual company to use, they must purchase the module license to be able to use this feature. Once activated, log out and log in again, and follow these paths to access the feature. Go to Tools, D, I, Y, S, Q, L, Control Center. Double click on your company name directory. Click on the Business Objects directory. Select the module where you want to write the script. For example, inside the Sales directory, we have the Sales Invoice module. Right-click on the module, select New Events. Select the event you want to register your script. In the Name field, leave it blank. And now, you can write your Delphi script in here, where the script will be called when the event has occurred. Next. I'm going to explain some of the events that you can use for writing your script. The first is the onOpen event. OnOpen event triggers the script to execute when a window is opened or to handle events for a specific component. For example, onOpen can be used to assign and bind a custom behavior for a component's value changes. In this case, we assigned a custom behavior for the company name component, such that when we select a company name, the script can fetch a note for that company from the Maintain Customer module and display it as a message dialog. On after new. The on after new event triggers the script after user triggered the new button. For example, on after new can be used to prefix the client code of cash sales as default customer in the cash sales module. On before edit. The on before edit event triggers the script before clicking the edit button allowing you to define actions to be performed before granting right access. For example, on before edit can be used to define customized access right at specific field level. In this case, it can be used to restrict users from editing certain fields. On after edit. The on after edit event triggers the script after the edit button is clicked and edit right is granted. On after edit can be used to register actions to be performed after write access is granted. For example, it can be used to verify if the client's address in the current document matches the most recent address in maintain customer. If they do not match, a message can be displayed asking the user if they would like to update it with the latest information. On before delete. The on before delete event is triggered before a transaction is deleted. This event allows you to perform certain actions or validations before the deletion occurs, such as confirming whether the user really wants to delete the record, checking if there are any dependencies or related data that would be affected by the deletion, logging or recording details of the deletion action. On before save the on before save event triggers the script before performing the save operation. It allows you to perform specific actions such as validating formula calculations or filling additional custom fields. For example, on before save can be used to autofill the user who created the document and the creation time before saving, storing this information in the DIY fields. On after save. On after save event triggers the script after the save button is clicked. For example, on after save can be used in customer payments. Once the user saved the transaction, the official receipt number can be auto-update to the sales invoice document, assisting with future traceability. On before print. On before print event triggers the script before proceeding with the print operation. For example, it can be used to check on the print counts and restrict the print for one time only, preventing duplicate purchase orders. On grid after insert. On grid after insert event is triggered after a new row or record has been added to the grid. This event allows you to perform additional actions or logic immediately after the insertion, such as updating related fields, recalculating values, or triggering other processes.
For example, it can be used to set a default 14 days for the delivery date in each new row inserted. On-grid column value change. For example, it can be used to update the amount based on the multiplication formula that consists of QD, length, width, and rate. Different value assigned to those fields, the amount will be updated accordingly. The events explained are the most commonly used ones. There are additional events not covered here, and you can explore them on your own to discover even more possibilities. Now, feel free to start writing your script. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube for the latest video, follow our Facebook for the latest update, go to our website for reports and guides. It's so easy.